ka beautiful. Hope everything's doing great in your life po. Today's video, let's continue to read Proverbs chapter 7 and 8. Let's start our day with opening prayer. Heavenly Father, our Almighty El Elohim, glorious and marvelous you are, the author of our life and our greatest source of our strength. We come before you today with a grateful heart and our spirit rejoices to hear your words of insight. Open our hearts and mind to fully understand your message. Remove all our anxieties and worries and please fix our eyes and ears on you. Thank you for the daily provisions and protection that you bestowed upon us every hour of our life on earth. Help us become committed to build a closer relationship with you. We lift up this prayer through your Son and our King and Messiah. Amana Hayaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's start, mga kabetiful. Proverbs chapter 7. Warning against the adulterous woman. New International Version. My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, You are my sister. And to insight, you are my relative. They will keep you from the adulterous woman. From the wayward woman with her seductive words. At the window of my house, I look down through the lattice. I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young men, a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house. At twilight, as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in, then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent. She is unruly and defiant, her feet never stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, at every corner, she lurks. She took hold of him and kissed him, and with a brazen face, she said, Today, I fulfilled my vows, and I have food from my fellowship offering at home. So I came out to meet you. I looked for you and have found you. I have covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deeply of love till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. With persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once, he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a nose. Till an arrow purses his liver like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing 
it will cost him his life. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Many are the victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the grave leading down to the chambers of death. Proverbs chapter 8, Wisdom's Call Does not wisdom call out? Does not understanding raise her voice? At the highest point along the way, where the paths meet, she takes her stand. Beside the gate leading into the city at the entrance, she cries aloud, To you, O people, I call out. I raise my voice to all mankind. You who are simple gain prudence. You who are foolish set your hearts on it. Listen, for I have trustworthy things to say. I open my lips to speak what is right. My mouth speaks what is true, for my lips detest wickedness. All the words of my mouth are just, none of them is crook or perverse. To the discerning, all of them are right. They are upright to those who have found knowledge. Chose my instruction instead of silver, knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare with her. I, wisdom, dwell together with prudence. I possess knowledge and discretion. To fear the Elohim is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance evil behavior and perverse speech. Counsel and sound judgment are mine. I have insight. I have power. By me, kings reign and rulers issue decrees that are just. By me, princes govern and nobles all who rule on earth. I love those who love me, and those who seek me find me. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. My fruit is better than fine gold. What I yield surpasses choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice. Bestowing a rich inheritance on those who love me and making their treasuries full. The Elohim brought me forth as the first of his works before his deeds of old. I was formed long ages ago at the very beginning when the world came to be. When there were no watery depths, I was given birth. When there were no springs overflowing with water. Before the mountains were settled in place, before the hills, I was given birth. Before he made a world or its fields or any of the dust of the earth, I was there when he set the heavens in place, when he marked out the horizon on the face of the deep. When he established the clouds above and fixed securely the fountains of the deep. When he gave the sea its boundary so the waters would not overstep his command 
and when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Then I was constantly at his side. I was filled with delight day after day, rejoicing always in his presence. Rejoicing in his whole world and delighting in mankind. Now then, my children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise. Do not disregard it. Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. For those who find me, find life and receive favor from the Elohim. But those who fail to find me harm themselves. All who hate me love death. End of Proverbs chapter 7 and 8 Hope you get some valuable insights and will apply it in your day-to-day -day life. Let us pray a closing prayer. Our dearest Almighty Elohim, thank you so much for the words of wisdom that gives us life. Thank you for the enlightenment and a new hope for leading us back to you. Please continue to guard our ways and tame our tongues to refrain from speaking vain words that does not please you. Keep us away from wicked people that could lead us away from you. Continue to lead the fire of desire in our hearts to seek you more than we do. Make us a channel of your blessings and peace to whom it is due. We can't ask anything because we have you. Continue to keep us being contented and happy for what we have. You are the only inspiration and salvation we had together with the Messiah. We left off this prayer to you through the Messiah's name, Amana Hayaha. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in my next vlog po. Bye-bye. Just like and subscribe too.